Good day my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I would like to share with all of you a message given by our Lord Jesus Christ to Luz de Maria on October 28, 2023. Before listening to the message, I would like to invite all of you to pray this prayer with me, beseeching our Lord Jesus Christ to guide us and give us the grace of knowing the truth. And with trust and confidence, please join me and say, O most loving Jesus, goodness beyond understanding and power infinite, thank you for loving me so much to the point of dying for me, and for giving me so many graces and gifts. O most loving Savior, I implore thee to help me, that I may always love thee above all things and trust in thee at all times. I beseech thee, to deliver me from the many treacherous lies and deceitful words of false prophets and teachers, but most of all, guide me and help me to always be vigilant and careful, so that I may never be deceived, Amen. Message by our Lord Jesus Christ to Luz de Maria on October 28, 2023 Beloved children, I bring you great news. You are my great treasure and I bless every one of you who, with love and righteousness, with a contrite and humble heart, accept this call, not as optional, but with the respect that I deserve as God. I desire that all may be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. I want you to be respectful of my word in the holy scriptures, respectful of the law. The human race lives in one sole reality, which is spirituality. However, you have chosen to walk in two realities, one being that which must exist and the other being that which must coexist with the first. The reality is the spiritual one, the earthly reality must be lived based on the spiritual one. At this time you have delegated the guidance of your life to the things of the world, which keep hold of you as creatures who do not seek me, do not know me and do not love me. You have put spirituality last by not knowing me. You have allowed the evil one, the oppressor of souls, to penetrate the lives of each of my children, thereby succeeding in contaminating them, guiding them towards everything that causes me pain, towards that which leads you to perdition, and if you do not convert, to lose eternal life. Prayer is important, it is necessary for your good, grow spiritually, keep trusting in my house, in my mother, in the assistance of Saint Michael the Archangel. Demons are all over the earth, looking for their prey in order to make you work and act against everything that signifies my love, but the creature's best and greatest protection is being in a state of grace. This is not the moment for you to continue to live in sin and worldly affairs, but for you to become aware of the spiritual danger of remaining caught up in the folly of base instincts. Children, time is running out. It is impossible for you to carry on living as before, it is impossible for you to make the same mistakes, the same sins. It is important for you to mature spiritually and consciously begin to wake up. You want gifts and virtues, but you will not have them if you persist with the same way of acting and behaving, if you continue with the same hearts of stone and if your thoughts wander into everything that is wrong. My children are considerate creatures who think of their eternal salvation, of their neighbors and their needs. My children are creatures filled with my love, which flows from their mouths, from their works and actions. It is impossible to live in isolation if you wish to grow, for then you will grow in your own way, saying, this is good, and this is how I must work and act, and this is the product of the human ego, leading you where you want to go in your human will. Another moon will give you signs in the firmament, persecution will increase. I have already warned you not to attend mass gatherings, terrorism will not stop, it is only taking a breath. You are stubborn, my children, it is necessary for you to keep the medicines that we have given you for what is to come, 
before it is too late. Pray, my children, pray, the death of a world figure in dubious circumstances will heighten this time of war. Pray, my children, pray for Central America, its soil will be forcefully shaken. Pray, my children, Mexico will be shaken, Chile will suffer due to an earthquake, Bolivia will be moved by force. Pray, my children, war will intensify, other countries will interfere, the somber scenario will spread. Pray, my children, pray with your heart, with your works and actions. Pray, my children, pray for my church. Beloved children, my word is one, do not be confused by heedless modernism, do not be confused. My law is one and does not change. Not forgetting my love for humanity, my real presence in the Eucharist, and knowing how much you can achieve by praying the Holy Rosary dedicated to my mother, you will obtain great miracles for mankind and for yourselves by respecting the divine will. Pray the prayer of the Holy Rosary with your heart, it is loved by my house. I invite you again to pray the Holy Rosary for all humanity. My blessing abides in you. I love you, your Jesus. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Commentary of Luz de Maria Brothers and sisters, what a great joy it is for all of us that our beloved Lord Jesus Christ floods us with his special and infinite blessing. At the same time, not looking at our ingratitude, he calls us his great treasure, a great title of which we are unworthy. Such is the merciful love of God. Brothers and sisters, we are told that we live in two realities as human beings, two realities chosen by us, but so wrongly. And the fact is that as creatures accustomed to living according to our human ego, we have been living backwards, wanting to attune spirituality to our human ego. This is why we are unable to reach an awareness of the greatness of what a spiritual human creature is. Today, our Lord Jesus Christ urges us not to place any more obstacles in the way of belonging more to Christ than to the world. Our human ego must be directed by spirituality rather than our spirituality being directed towards the human ego. Our Lord is very forceful in this message, which sets before us aspects of our daily lives. These are times for strengthening our faith, not for being lukewarm. Let us recall what heaven has revealed to us. The Most Holy Virgin Mary on September 29, 2010 The earth will shake, I call you not to forget that wherever there dwells a soul devoted to the Most Holy Trinity and who prays the Holy Trisagion, a lessening of the scourges will be granted. The Most Holy Virgin Mary on November 2, 2011 this humanity lives in permanent deafness and has closed its ears to the voice of conscience. Because of this, sin is growing by the moment. The fact is that what you are seeing now is only the beginning of what is to come. Times will come when conscience will be totally erased within the human race, hearts will be blackened, God will be banished and I will be totally erased. These will be times of spiritual desolation because evil will reign throughout the earth. Our Lord Jesus Christ on November 5, 2014 Do not forget that Rome will lose the faith and will be the seat of the Antichrist from where the latter will win battles through great wonders, but my people will not remain alone, I will send the one who will help my people, and this envoy will confront the forces of evil. He will carry my word in his mouth, like fire he will burn up the snares of the Antichrist. 
The Most Holy Virgin Mary on July 12, 2015 The Father's house will not turn away from protecting his children, therefore he will offer humanity his envoy so that through the Divine Word, he would encourage and rescue souls for my Son. He will give him wisdom coming from the Holy Spirit so that souls would no longer be lost, so that the righteous will not be lost and so that the holy remnant would be united. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, and sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my Mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word Incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me, Amen. O blessed Joseph, Father and Guide of Jesus Christ in his childhood and youth, who didst lead him safely in his flight through the desert, and in all the ways of his childhood, be also my companion and guide in this pilgrimage of life, and never permit me to turn aside from the way of God's commandments. Be my refuge in adversity, my support in temptation, my solace in affliction, until at length I arrive at the land of the living, where with thee and Mary, thy most holy spouse, and all the saints, I may rejoice forever in Jesus my Lord, Amen. O angel of God, to whose care I am committed by the supreme clemency, enlighten, defend, direct, and govern me this day, in all my thoughts, words, and actions. Bless us, O Lord, and preserve us from all evil, and bring us to eternal life, Amen. And let us now ask God for pardon for all of the sins that we have committed, having too a firm intention to go to confession as soon as possible if conscious of an unconfessed mortal sin. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for all my sins, because by them I have offended Thee. I detest them above all things, and I am firmly resolved, by the help of Thy holy grace, which I beseech thee to grant me now and always, rather to die than offend thee any more. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the virtue of his sacred passion, the sign of his holy cross, the purity and humility of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the protection of the angels, and the intercession of all the saints and elect of God, be with me and defend me, now and at the hour of my death. O God, whose property is always to have mercy and to spare, be favorably propitious to the souls of thy servants, and grant them the remission of all their sins, that, being delivered from the bonds of this mortal life, they may be admitted to life everlasting. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. O oh Jesus, I love you, I thank you and I adore you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you for watching and may God pour down an abundance of graces and blessings upon all of us. Till next time, stay blessed and keep praying.